Welcome to Teach Me Maths. My name is Jonathan Hicks and today we're looking at multiplication. Well, this is actually going to be the Russian peasant method of multiplication. If you look at the multiplication overview video, you'll see there's actually loads of ways of multiplying two different numbers together. I'd actually recommend you use, like on a daily basis, either the traditional method or the grid method. Those are the most effective methods, I think. But there are lots of other crazy ways of doing it, and this one's definitely one of the crazy ones. So I thought I'd show you just for interest, really, you can see what you think of this one. So we're going to use the same numbers as we did in the traditional and grid videos, so you can compare them if you want to. So this is going to be 14 times 32. Now the way this works is you basically halve one side and you double the other. And you just keep going until you can turn the calculation from something relatively complicated into something much easier. So you halve 14, that gives you 7. And then you double 32, that gives you 64. Then you halve 7, although at this point you're not going to get a whole number here. Half of 7 would be 3.5. And if you ever end up in a situation where you've got a half, you always throw the half away. You round down, effectively. So half of seven will give you three and a half. Rounded down, it goes down to three. If you double 64, that's going to give you 128. Now, whenever you round, whenever you have to throw the half away, so if I'm going from the seven to the three, I had to throw away the extra half, you always have to put an asterisk next to the level where you rounded down, okay? I know, it's nuts this, isn't it? But then, you do the same thing again, you half, and we're going to have to throw away the extra half again, so three half will give you one and a half, throw away the extra one, so round down, that's just going to take you down to one. Double the 128, you get 256. Again, we had to round down here, so you put another asterisk. But effectively what we've managed to do is turn the 14 times 32 into 1 times 256 kind of, we'll come back to these asterisks in a minute, but I can do that, that's really easy. So 1 times 256 is 256, and then the reason we put these here is you have to add any numbers where you put asterisks onto the final answer. So it's going to be 256 plus 64 plus 128. So that goes like that, 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 8 gives you 18, carry the 1, 5 and 6 is 11, plus 2 is 13, plus the 1 you carry gives you 14, carry the 1, and 2 plus 1 plus the other one gives you 4, so the final answer is 448. Isn't that funny? My name's Jonathan Hicks, you've been watching Teach Me Maths. Mm -hmm.